Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to go over some of the new features that we've just recently added to Niche Finder based on a lot of great suggestions from the users. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in a keyword and let Niche Finder start to populate some data and then I'll go over some of the features. I'll click start. The first thing you'll notice is there's a new status message that appears here. And this is going to give you a better idea of what Niche Finder is doing. So you can see it's, it's downloading the keywords now. Uh, before this message was up here, it said it was accessing adwords.google.com. Uh, it's logging into your Google account. Okay, right now it's going through the keyword weight loss, weight loss pills, it's searching Google, it's grabbing the Google page rank for each of the keywords. So you, you can see it's doing a lot of, of different things. And then you can see the total progress up here at the top, obviously. So while Niche Finder processes, I'm going to go through a few of the new additions. So average links over here, this was recently added. And what this is going to tell us is the average number of links for the keyword weight loss for the top 10 ranked websites is 137,741. So if you're going to get in the top 10 of Google for the keyword weight loss, probably the minimum number of links you're going to want to get is 137,741 links. Now if I click that, you can see that the, and let me sort this, okay, so this is the number one ranked site at the top, number two, number three, and so on, all the way down to ten. You can see that the top ranked website uh, has 2,365,950 backlinks. That is a ton of links. And you can see that 6,661 uh, unique referring domains. So of those domains, there are multiple pages on these domains linking to, uh, you know, this site, which is going to equal two million whatever. Uh, and you can see, you can kind of go down through, and you can see that typically the the number one ranked site is going to have the most links, and it's going to kind of filter down to the fewest at the bottom. You can see referring domains as well, and then you can see a couple that are really really low here. And the reason for this, and the reason these uh, two sites rank where they do, it's not necessarily because of the power of this specific page. You can see it only has 30 links coming from four domains. That's not very many, obviously. Um, but what I can say is that yellowpages.com is a huge, huge authority site. Very, very powerful. Now, if you go to the site, I'm sure the page rank is very high. I'm sure there are a ton of links pointing into yellowpages.com. So the domain itself is boosting the power of this inner page. So you can kind of get a handle on that kind of stuff. And all this is pulled directly from Majestic SEO. So if we click OK, I'm going to sort the difficulty column here hardest ranked keyword at the top all the way down to the easiest at the very bottom and as we scroll down through you can kind of see the the most difficult keywords are going to have the, the highest number of average links in general so you can see 137 at the top and as we scroll down through you can see the average links number in general is going to keep shrinking as the difficulty gets easier and easier to rank for the keywords which does make sense because uh, you know Total links is one of Google's top ranking factors. Total links, quality of links, page rank, and page title are are the top ranking factors of Google. So those are some of, of the few that we take into consideration. Um, and, and you can see that it, it does average out pretty well. So the results you're going to get from Niche Finder under the difficulty level um, here, and then as well as the images over here, are very very accurate. You're going to be able to quickly find, uh, you know, keywords that are, gonna, are going to make you a lot of money. So, the average links column is new. The let me click preferences and go over a couple of the other new options. Okay, under general settings, this was another feature suggested by a, a few users. You can now set the difficulty ranges for each of the keywords uh, yourself. So let's say for example um, you know you don't really like the green and yellow indicators over here because you think that anything below 50 should be easy for you because you're very very good at SEO. So anything below 50 is easy. Right now it's set to anything below 30 is easy. Uh, but you want anything below 50 to be green. So you can now come, up, come in here and change this to 50 and now you've just changed your range. So as soon as you click save and you rerun a keyword, it's going to change all these uh, images for you. Uh, let's, let's say that 
you decide you don't like your own range, you can always reset it at any time. It's going to go back to the to the default. Okay, I'm going to click save here. Uh, another really cool feature that we added is the ability to hide uh, different columns. So let's say, for example, you don't really care about the domains availability columns over here. What you can now do is you can right click and show hide columns and then you can simply uncheck the column you don't want to see and that's going to you know remove that column for you if, you if you want it back you can always right click and reselect it and it's going to add it right back for you um, this is a really nice feature because if you're uh, you know let's say your monitor is smaller or you just don't like seeing all this data you only want to see certain certain things you can just come in here and hide whatever columns you want so a really nice user-friendly feature that we added. It was also suggested by another user, so thanks for that. Um, and let me go over a few other things and then I will uh, let you get back to your work. Um, if we go through here, I want to explain what this feature right here does. Because a, f a few users were confused by this new feature. So basically what you're going to be able to do here is let's say you live um, say you live in Japan and you want to find out how difficult keywords are to rank in google.com not necessarily how difficult the keywords are to rank in Japan's version of Google we want to see you know how difficult the keywords are to rank in google.com so the US version you just want to come in here and set this to English okay let's say it's vice versa you're in the US but you want to see how difficult it is to rank keywords in Japan's version of Google just come down here and select Japanese and that's gonna then click save and then when uh, when niche finder starts to run it's gonna look at Japan's version of Google and not google.com so a really neat feature that we added there and that was also a, a suggested feature from another user now real quickly here uh, I wanna make sure that you guys are using niche finder to uh, the best of its ability so a quick thing that we can do here to find the perfect keyword uh, is to go down through and first we want to uh, sort the columns by let's just go by cost per click so the highest paid keyword is at the top all the way down to the bottom so this keyword right here weight loss tea you can see that you know people in AdWords are paying four dollars and fifty one cents a click uh, quite a few ad advertisers are advertising in AdWords using this keyword it's a difficulty of fifty nine so pretty difficult still to rank in Google um, you know, 5,400 people search it a month. Average links for the top 10 ranked sites, 4,576. So, what I'm getting at is the perfect keyword is a keyword that has a low difficulty, has a high number of searches, has a high cost per click, has a high AdWords, um, high number of people advertising via AdWords, and the average links is pretty low. So, let's go down through and let's see if we can find a keyword that matches that pretty well. I'm going to sort the difficulty and you can see this keyword right here is is close um, metformin weight loss not sure what that is but it's a difficulty of 28 so really easy to rank in Google gets searched for a ton has a high cost per click so $1.39 a click but the problem is you can see here not very many people are advertising via Google AdWords so if you did create a website uh, related to AdSense for example the site showing up on uh, the uh, you know the site showing up within your AdSense code block on your site aren't going to be very related because there's hardly anybody advertising uh, in AdWords. So this is a, a keyword that people are paying a lot of money for. At least a few people are, um, but not a lot. You want to find a keyword where a lot of people are paying that dollar amount. So if this was high, this would be a great great keyword that you could probably make quite a bit of money with from just this keyword. So let's go down through, let's find a keyword that, okay, here's a keyword here. Uh, you know, a pretty high number of AdWords advertisers, whey protein weight loss. Pretty easy to rank, 41. Uh, like I said, the range right now for moderates, for yellow is between 30 and 80. So it's on the low end of moderate. Gets a, a decent amount of searches per month. High cost per click, over a dollar. A uh, pretty high number of AdWords advertisers, so people must be buying something uh, based on whey protein, whey protein weight loss, or people wouldn't be this many people wouldn't be advertising, paying a dollar ten a click. 
and average length is 152. That's you know pretty low. It's pretty easy to get 152 links pointing to your site. So that's a nice keyword. Here's another good keyword. It's just a little bit more difficult. Actually, a higher cost per click and more people advertising. So this is probably a better keyword even. Uh, and when you can come through, you can you know take keywords like this. Uh, the absolute perfect scenario would be if the difficulty is lower, if it's in the green range, uh, if this is like super high. So if you happen to find a keyword that's like seven dollars a click or something insane like that, uh, and then this is completely full, and then the .com version of the domain is available. Now, that's likely never going to happen, um, but that would be the absolute perfect keyword. So you just you want to go through and you want to find the best keyword possible, given the keywords that you uh, you know are given from the beginning. And you can also, if you find a, a pretty decent keyword, you can always right click and generate long tail, and it's going to generate longer versions of this keyword, which are probably going to have a lower difficulty. Uh, you know, and probably slightly lower cost per click, but more than likely similar cost per click. It's just going to be easy to rank for. So anyway, hopefully that helps and uh, stay tuned for more updates. Thanks a lot.